Hey guys, Lucas Held from Territory Account Manager with 360 Yield Center. Wanted to give you a quick update from the field uh, today with what we've been seeing out of 360 Yield Savers, especially on our home farm in South Central Illinois. So this is the first year we've actually run them on our farm. We've got a case combine with 4408 head. Uh, typically towards the end of the season, we're selling anywhere from 14 to 16% moisture corn. So as you can imagine, we're losing quite a bit at the head typically, especially on days uh, where it's, it's cloudy, it's a little bit rainy, first thing in the morning or late at night as those conditions start to get a little tougher, that deer doesn't want to pull off that stalk quite as easy. So that was the biggest reason we went to yield savers this year. Uh, and what that's allowed us to do is to not only save kernels in the, the primary hours of corn picking, but uh, it's allowed us to run earlier, run later, and not have to sacrifice uh, head performance during those times. So it's increased our efficiency and also saved us bushels at the head. A lot of the questions I get about yield saver are focused around residue intake. So growers are concerned that they're going to be bringing in more residue. It's going to affect the performance of their combine in general. And what we soon figured out when we put our yield savers on was that we had our head running too slow. And by that I mean sitting in the grain car tractor, I could see the stalks being pushed over by the head. So we didn't get that. We weren't getting that stalk pulled down through that row unit before it would get to the back of the row unit. So that was bringing a lot more residue in because it wasn't getting processed through that head and it was instead getting processed through the combine. So what we did, first day out, we sped our corn head up along with opening our deck plates up. So as that ear gets pushed or pulled down through those, those brushes and down into those deck plates, those brushes are essentially adding thickness to the deck plates. So what we did, uh, especially on our farm, was we, we opened those deck plates up about a half an inch, uh, allowed for those extra thickness of those brushes to pull, pull that ear off that plant, and that dramatically decreased the amount of residue that we were bringing in. So aside from that first day, kind of getting used to them, it's just like anything new, uh, there's a little bit of a break-in period, and there's a little bit of break-in period for the operator as well. So. Once we got used to them, we didn't have any issues with the residue intake, and um, we loved the job they did. We were saving 80 to 85 percent of the kernels that we were losing before, uh, so we were extremely thrilled with the way they worked. And as you start thinking about some of the different options for later in the season, uh, other than tracks, I hope you consider yield saver to really capitalize on all the all the investments you put forward so far. Looking forward to talking to you and hope you have a great rest of the fall. Thanks.